Hey, hey, Redeemed. I'm going to wait a couple seconds and see if one or two of you guys pop up here. I realize it's in the middle of the day, but baby girl just lay down for her nap. We're not going to talk about it too much because I might jinx it. Um, but I wanted to pop up here because I did a poll on our team page yesterday asking what kind of trainings you guys wanted. And the first one that had a ton of people mark was how to book parties. So, I wanted to come up here, do a quick live. If you pop up here, say hey to me in the comments. If you watch the replay, do hashtag replay. Um, I'm going to try to make this super quick for you. Partying to me is one of the most important things that you can do for your business, especially if you are brand new. That is how you are going to have the trickle down effect in your business. That's how you're going to have higher PRV. That's how you're going to grow your customer base. It's going to solve a lot of your business problems if you are consistently partying. I can tell you from experience, I have over a hundred frontline. Almost every single one of those people I met through a party. Almost every single one of them I met through a party. Um, so I'm a firm believer that in order to know, you know, you guys want to know how to book parties, I want to explain to you why it's important to get that higher PRV, to grow your customer base, to grow your contacts. There's a beautiful thing when you consistently party month after month, month after month, um, you build relationships with those people. You're gonna have a follow-up system in place to follow up with those people so that they that way they are recurrent customers and they come back to you. Huge trickle-down effect when you party consistently. So the first tip, if you have a sheet of paper, the first tip that I'm gonna give you is very easy. Ask, you have to ask. Um, if you're thinking you're just gonna post on social media, who wants to book a party with me? I'm gonna tell you from first experience, if anybody asks me to book a party, the answer is no. Um, it creeps me out when I hear the word party because it sounds like work, right? <laughs> party, parties are supposed to be fun, right? Um, partying sounds like a lot of work when you say party. So ditch the word party. You have to ask it. Get uncomfortable with asking. I'm going to give you guys a few scenarios in just a few minutes when I go through my list. I made a list. Ain't you proud so I don't ramble? Um, cause I get messages and it distracts me and it makes me a squirrel. Um, show the benefits of partying. So when you're submitting orders for yourself, um, qualifying orders for yourself. Say you had people give you orders, you're placing those orders for you. Are you sharing the benefits of having a party on social media? Meaning, are you taking a picture of your host stuff, even if you're the host, it doesn't matter, even if you're the host, are you taking a picture of it and saying, I got all this for free and half off? Are you going live in your stories I got this free and half off? People are visual people. So if you came to me and said, Katie, do you want to book a party? I'm probably going to ignore you because that's creepy to me. But if I was scrolling through social media or watching stories and I saw a uh, air purifier that this girl got for half off or got 18 bars of wax for free, you're going to grab my attention that way. You're going to, when, you, when I hear the word free, that's what gets me. You have to hook people in with how does this benefit them? When I hear the word party, that doesn't sound like it benefits me. That sounds like it's going to be a lot of work. Show me how it benefits me. So, are you showing consistently on social media the benefits of partying, even if you're your own host? Are you taking pictures of the free and half off stuff of the qualifying orders that you're placing? If you're not, do that. And do that consistently. Go live in your stories. Take a picture of it. Show people the free and half don't just tell them you get free and half off show them the free and half off people are visual so that's tip number two show the benefits of partying tip number three we have something called the perpetual party reward now this is important because people get get tricked on this when i book parties i always offer an incentive to my host i base that normally on total party prv in our new in our albums tab of redeemed blessings there is a folder that says bag parties you guys will find what i use for my host i incentivize based off of part total party prv for example if they get a 200 hour party 
I'm gonna offer them a free mini warmer. And I'm gonna use the perpetual party reward to cover that so it only costs me $10. If they have a $500 party, I'll offer them a Sensi Go or Laundry Love bundle. That's 50, a $50 product. I'm going to use the Perpetual Party Reward to pay for that. So it's $25. That's a tax write-off. My host feels super, super spoiled. She's more than likely going to party with me again or refer me. But I use that per party, per, Perpetual Party Reward to my advantage. Here's the thing about the Perpetual Party Reward and personal specials. Those have to be privately communicated. I can't go on my public Facebook and say, whoever books a party with me this month, you get a free Scentsy Go. No, that's a personal special. Personal specials have to be privately communicated via email, via text. I do postcards in most of my customers' orders that tell them if they book a party, this is my September host exclusive. Just because Scentsy doesn't do host exclusive, you can. I stick them in my orders. Whoever books a party with me in September, you get a free $40 warmer of your choice. Um, be creative with how you ask people to party. For me, I'm a reader. So if people stick stuff in my order, I'm going to read it. I stick a lot of stuff in my customers' orders. Stuff about Scentsy Club, which I'm going to do a separate live on next week about because you guys wanted information on Scentsy Club too. Um, partying, joining. I put a lot of information into um my people's stuff because people are re people are readers right but if you were to text me that in a message i probably ain't gonna read it i gotta read it on my own time so use that perpetual party reward to your advantage make sure that that you're privately communicating that if you're not doing that you can do something as generic as posting a picture of a warmer on your face your personal facebook and say who would like to get this warmer for free next month or what what if I told you that you could get this warmer for free? Message me for details. Um, you can be creative. Be creative with the way that you share the opportunity for party. For me, I stick with showing the benefits. I Every time I get an order in, I take a picture of it. I go live in my stories. I show them the benefits of partying. Uh, free and half off stuff. So, tip number four. Do not use the word party. People are turned off by the word party. Um, it doesn't feel good. I don't like... Think about how you want to be approached. I don't like to be approached with, do you want to book... Will you book a party? Will you have a party for me? It sounds like work. Instead, say, hey, would you like to get that for free? You know, when you go to a restaurant and you eat your meal and people come, your waitress comes back and says, would you like dessert with that? Um, who doesn't like dessert, right? Dessert is the bomb.com ask them when they <laughs> I don't feel turned on either faith I don't um think about a waitress that comes to you and says would you would you like dessert with that would you like to have dessert with your meal the same way with partying when I have somebody come to me and they give me a hundred and twenty dollar order you know what I say I could easily take that hundred and twenty dollar order or I could say, girl, did you know that only $80 more is a qualifying party and you would get two half-off items or um, $20 in free product? Why don't I hook you up with a bag of the nuisance and you tote it to work and see if you can get a few more orders by sharing it with your coworkers and you can get some free and half-off stuff? You have got to pick up on keywords. If people are giving you huge orders, ask them, do they want fries with that? Do they want dessert with that? Ask them, do you want to get that for free? Right? If I have somebody come to me and they order the, I'm just going to use the air purifier, for example. If they give me an order for the air purifier, I'm going to ask them, do you want to get that for half off? And when they say, how do I do that? I'm like, get you $500 in orders. You can get that for, for half off and have free product credit to get your pods with. You have to catch on to keywords. Um, number five is the same as number one. Ask. You have to ask. If you are asking yourself, if you want to grow in this business, any aspect of this business, you have got to get over the fear of asking. Okay? Because if you don't ask, the answer is always no. Don't assume people are going to come to you to party. Don't assume that. They're not going to. But if you ask, do you want fries with that? When you, With every order that you get, do you want to get that for free? Practice. Do you want to get that for free? Okay. Oh, you want a six pack of wax? Would you like to get that for free? 
Practice. Do you want to get that for free? Go for the party versus the immediate order. Yeah, that $120 order is going to feel good right now, but what if that $120 order turned into a $500 party and 10 new customers that you have a follow-up system for to follow up with them and they become forever customers, okay? Forever customers. Don't go for immediate gratification, okay? There's beauty. There is beauty in the party, because if they have a $500 party, you just show them what being a consultant is like. You just show them that they're halfway to their, their first promotion. You just show them how easy it was to get free and half off stuff. It has a trickle down effect in your business. And a lot of times when I hear people say, I'm struggling in my business. My business isn't growing. Um, I don't have a lot of customers. And I ask them, when's the last time you party? Or how many parties have you booked? And they're like, well, none. That solves, partying solves your business problems. Partying will solve your PRV problem. Partying will solve your no customer problem. Partying is going to solve that you don't have any contacts to share the opportunity with. This is a people business. You cannot run this business without people. You have to have people. And in order to have people, you have to meet people. In order to meet people, you have to party. You have to party. It doesn't have to be scary. There's not a right way or a wrong way to do it. Y'all know I hate Facebook parties. Hate, 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 hate them. Hate them. Do not like them. Um, I, <laughs> I rather drive in a car with my screaming two-month-old um, for five hours than do a Facebook party. I'm just saying, I do not like them. I do not like them. Same I am. I do not like them. Not at all. But I do them. Okay? I don't like them, but I do them. You have to do the things that are going to make you grow. And you have to, if your mouth is closed, your business is closed. If you're not going to ask, if you're not going to talk to people, if you're not going to show them, your business is closed, okay? And ultimately, this is going to go into number five. You have to show them the experience. This business, every aspect, the party aspect, the order aspect, the join aspect, is about experience, People are not going to remember what you say. They're going to remember what they see. They're going to remember how you make them feel. Talking about the party aspect, when you show them what partying is all about, the benefits of partying, and spoiling them as a host, you're giving them the party experience. You're giving them the experience of this is what it's like to get free and half off stuff. This is what it's like to be spoiled by my Sensi consultant. This is what it's like to be spoiled with an order that I ordered and getting it packaged up like a package. This is the experience. You want to give people an experience when they work with you. If they have a bump, y'all, I have parties fail all the time. <laughs> Literally, all the time. And I never make my host feel bad about it. I still give her a free bar of wax. Or I still give her stuff that I have on hand. Because you know what? That party flopped. But in a few months from now, she might party again with me. And it might be a bomb party. It might be the best party. So I treat her the same as if she wouldn't have had a successful party. Okay? Treat people right. Treat people right. It comes back tenfold. So it starts with a customer experience. If you want people to party with you, you need to give them a good customer experience. How are you following up with them? Do you have a follow-up system? Do you have a VIP page? How do you communicate with your customers? Are you emailing them about new releases? Um, are you asking about their personal life? Are you taking an interest in them? Do they know that you value them, that, they're, that they are important to you? Do they know that? Do they feel that? When they have a connection with you, okay? Because it starts with a customer experience. You're not going to get parties booked or people aren't going to want to party or join under you if you're not giving them a good experience if they're just your customer. So, you need to give them a good experience. Okay. So, what was that? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. When you get large orders, ask them to party, okay? You have to ask. Y'all, there is no secret sauce to partying or to getting booking parties, you have to ask. Every Wednesday is my party day. What's today? Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Um, my, my week is thrown off a little bit. So, <laughs> most of the time, Tuesdays is my team day. Wednesdays is my book party day. Um, so, I had to reverse them. 
because Aiden started school yesterday. Wednesdays is when I focus on booking parties. And I'm intentional with who I ask and how I ask. I'll go live in my stories this evening. I have two bag parties I've prepped for September. Um, with the fall brochure and the set of the month for next month, I have those prepped. I'm going to go live in my stories with bag parties. And I'm going to try to get two bag parties booked today. Um, I'll faith it's in. Yeah, I can. I'll email you. <laughs> it's a hot mess express. Uh, but I'll email you how I work. I work a little bit differently now than I still use my label system sometimes, um, but I use the one-to-one -one method now, and that's worked for me for the last three months um, in this season of life. But I have certain days that I focus on certain things, and that's how my brain works. That's how I function. Um, and if I get all out of sorts, my week is thrown off. So I like to do one thing, focus on one area of my business a day. So Wednesdays is booking parties. And I look through who has ordered frequently. Who spends a lot of money with me? Who, um, who's who been referring a lot of people to me? I look at those people. They would make bomb host. And I ask them. There's no secret sauce. There's no special sauce to asking. You're going to get a lot of no's. You're going you're gonna to get a lot of ignores. You're going to get a lot of no's. But you have to ask. And the more that you ask, the more that you ask the more you're going to hear yes. You have to ask though. So I asked somebody last week, she texted me. She said, I haven't had any parties booked. And I'm like, well, when's the last time you asked somebody? In June? It's August. You have to ask. Every Wednesday is my party day. That's when I ask. I go through my Amy app, AMI. That's what I use. And I look for people. Who has ordered frequently? Who spends a lot of money? Who? would make a bomb host, and I asked them, hey, this is what literally what I said, hey, would you like to get some free stuff out of the catalog? Hey, would you want to take a bag of testers with you to work? Hey, I know you have a family gathering this weekend. Would you like to borrow my bag and see if you can get some free and half off stuff, okay? Keep it simple. So when I do challenges on our team page, I do them at least once or twice a month about a booking blitz. And I asked people to screenshot their verbiage and put it in the comments. And one of the things that I always notice is the amount of words used when you talk to people about booking a party. People, if you take nothing else from this video, take this. People do not want to see a paragraph when you're a booking a party. Okay? I'm not going to read a pa paragraph. I might read the first sentence, but, but the way these children set up right now, <laughs> I got to read my Bible, okay? I got to read my Bible. Um, JK, I do read my Bible, but JK on uh, that. You, they don't want to read a long paragraph, okay? You want to keep it simple. Keep it simple. Do you want to get this for free? Hey, girl, the new catalog has came out. Would you like to get some free stuff from it? Keep it simple. When you overcomplicate it or you tell them, here, this, this is what I used to do, okay, when I first started. This is how I used to book parties. <laughs> I'm ashamed. I used to say, hey, girl, I wanted to see if you wanted to book a bag party with me. I can run it by one day this week, and if you collect $200 in orders, you'll get a half-off item and $20 in free stuff, and you will also get a bonus gift from me. You can keep the bag for two weeks, and if you need any help, you can let me know. That's a lot of information, okay? That's a lot. They don't need to know all that, okay? They do not need to know all that until you, you you meet with them. Get the yes first before you pounce on them, okay? Before you pounce on them. Like, like, okay, before you pounce on them. Ask them, do you want to get something for free? Then when you meet with them, show them the party reward page in your catalog and say, this is the party reward tiers. Obviously, the more orders that you get, the higher your host reward tiers go up. The more free and half off stuff that you can get. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. In every aspect of this business, keep it simple. It's one of our core values of Sensi. Simplicity is one of the core values. Keep it simple. You don't have to worry about it. Keep it simple. Do you want to get this for free? Hey, girl, I wanted to see if you wanted to grab a bag of my testers. Use the perpetual party reward. Don't use the word party. Um, show the benefits of a party. So when you start getting your qualifying orders in this month, take a picture. Take a picture of them. Take a picture of your host rewards. 
when you're entering your orders, take a little video of how much host credits you got, how many free and half off you got. Take a little video. People are visual. They want to see what they can get. Don't tell them. They want to see it. All right. So, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, now's the time to start booking parties for next month to front load your, cat your calendar. There's many ways to parties, okay? Many ways to party. This time of year, the holidays, um, I call them personal shopping links. And I tell my customers if they want a personal shopping link um, to save up for Christmas, I can create them one and they can order for the next three months. And then in December... They can close the, that with the host rewards that have accumulated from that party link to get Christmas presents. Um, you can do Facebook parties. You can do Facebook live parties. You can do bag parties. You can do home parties. There are so many ways that you can party, and there's no right or wrong way, okay? There's no right or wrong way. So, my biggest advice to you is ask. Ask. You have to ask. Um, be consistent with asking, Get uncomfortable with asking because the more that you do it, it's going to become second nature. It used to be very uncomfortable for me to book parties. Very uncomfortable because the, what if they said no? Okay, what if they said no or worse? What if they leave me on red and they don't even respond to my message? Okay, because I think I'd rather hear no than have somebody ignore me. Um, <laughs> It would hurt my, my heart, okay? It would hurt my heart. You have to get uncomfortable. Now, when people, it's just second nature. When somebody sends me a large order, especially if it's over a hundred dollars, I'm like, girl, that's halfway. To, that's halfway to host credit. Like, you think a couple of your friends need some new scents? You want me to run you some of these testers so your friends and your family can sniff them, and we can get you some free stuff? It becomes second nature, but you're only gonna get better at it the more that you do it. Okay. So, I'm challenging each of you guys to set aside some time each week. doesn't have to be a lot of time. I'm going to take 15 minutes today to do it. 15 minutes. Um, because I already have my list made of potential hosts that I want to ask. I did that at the beginning of the month. Um, I'm going to sit down for 15 minutes. And I'm going to aim to book two parties for next month since I have two bags ready. Okay? You don't have to have a lot of time. The time that you do have, make it count. Okay, parties is where it's at. It's where you're going to solve a lot of your business issues, okay? I love you guys. Happy hump day. Halfway through the week. Um, six days left until September 1st. We are now in the busiest season in the Scentsy world. The busiest season, and I'm hype. I'm excited for you guys. I can't wait to see how your businesses bloom and, and blossom this fall. A lot of you guys are in harvest season, and you guys are going to watch your hard work grow this fall. So I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome Wednesday.